Eight boys and two girls sit on a bench. Determine the number of possible arrangements given that a the girls do not sit together. It will be more useful to calculate uh, the required number of uh, arrangements as total number of arrangements. Since there are 10 objects in total, it's 10 factorial. It's just the number of permutations of 10 different objects minus unwanted number of uh, rearrangements and unwanted situation is the next uh, it's that two girls sit together and we can see the two girls as one object and also there are eight remaining boys so we can see it as uh, nine objects in total and there are nine factorial ways to rearrange them but also it may be uh, that girl 2 is here, girl 1 is here uh, and it will be also 9 factorial uh, number of uh, permutations so it's minus again 9 factorial or we just write uh, 2 multiplied by 9 factorial and we need just calculate it with the calculator and it is equal to the next value B. The girls do not sit on either end. So again, 10 factorial minus unwanted uh, situations. And unwanted are the next. It may be girl is at one end and another girl at another end. And eight remaining boys. So the number of ways to rearrange eight boys is 8 factorial and girl 1 here, girl 2 here, or vice versa, so we multiply by 2 and minus. Uh, there is also unwanted uh, uh, situation when one girl is at one end, but boy is at another. Looks like this. And uh, the second girl may be at uh, any position in uh, between and also there are seven remaining boys and the number of ways to choose uh, a boy uh, on this place it's eight one out of eight so it's eight again uh, the number of uh, ways to rearrange uh, uh, these eight seven boys plus a girl eight uh, object it's eight factorial and and again, it may be girl 1 here, girl 2 here, or girl 2 here, girl 1 here, so multiply by 2. But also, it may be that girl 1 is at, uh, or girl, girl 1 or girl 2 is uh, at uh, this, and, and boy is uh, at uh, this end, so also uh, two possible variants, so we multiply by 2. And we need just calculate it and it is equal to this value. C. The girls do not sit on either and and do not sit together. And again, total number of uh, permutations minus. If we subtract this value, it means we subtract that two girls sit together but uh, they may be at uh, any places and if we subtract 2 multiplied by 8 factorial it means uh, girl at one end and girl at another end and 8 uh, boys in between and if we subtract 2 times 2 times 8 times 8 factorial, we subtract uh, the situation girl 1, for example, and at one end, and girl somewhere in between, and boy at another end. And you can notice that when we subtract, we subtract number of uh, uh, possible 
rearrangement uh, so that girls are together and when we subtract that uh, girls are uh, at uh, either and we twice subtract a situation when uh, girls are uh, at the end and uh, are together. You can uh, see uh, here, it's clear here, then uh, uh, this girl may be at any of uh, these eight positions. So it may be like this, girl one, girl two, or girl two, girl one, here. But you can see that it is already calculated here, that uh, it is also already subtracted that uh, two girls uh, are at uh, the first place and the second. So they are together and at the end. So we need compensate it. So we, we add, we add, what do we need to add? Uh, the, the next situations, girls together and at this end and also together and at this end. So two ends, so it's two. A girl one, girl two, number of uh, uh, rearrangements it's two and uh, um, uh, the number of ways to rearrange remaining eight boys it's eight factorial and if you uh, it may be simplified and it is equal to 42 times 8 factorial and if we calculate it we get the next value And that's all for this question.